course, just as I'm about to film, I got something stuck in my eyeball. God damn it. Hey guys, it's me, Sylvia, back with another video. Welcome back to my channel. Today's video, we are finally doing a full face of Fenty Beauty. You guys have been requesting this for a minute. And you know, I have featured Fenty Beauty products on my channel here and there, but I don't think I've ever done a full face reviewing everything. So basically, I went off. Like, I bought everything that they have to offer. We have so many products here. It's probably gonna be a long video, so you get your snacks, you get your friends, and you watch it together. Put me on your TV, in the living room, get some popcorn and watch the full video if you want to see what my thoughts are on just like what Fenty Beauty has to offer basically. So we'll get right into it today but before we do make sure you subscribe to my channel okay don't go a minute further into this video without hitting that little red button it's completely free and it'll be the best decision you ever made in your life so subscribe to my channel join my S Club and without further ado let's get to testing these Fenty Beauty products. So first up we have the Fenty Beauty Pro Filter Soft Matte Primer so the little pump disperses the product and I have tried this primer before. I do like it. It kind of reminds me of the Hourglass Veil Primer, which is a bomb primer. It's supposed to be like a soft matte finish. Fill in pores and give you that nice smoothed out filter finish. It's supposed to be really great just for like oily combination, which is my skin type. So I do really like it. But if you have dry skin, you probably want to be more cautious because it does have that mattifying kind of filtered effect to it. But there she is, completely applied. Now you can see I still have a nice glow about my skin, but it did kind of give me an overall blurred effect if you look real close, especially on my nose. I have a lot of pores there and it helped to kind of minimize those so liking this primer Let's move on to the foundation. So we're using the pro filter soft matte longwear foundation It's in the same kind of bottle as the primer and that primer is the recommended primer to use obviously with this foundation Now when I first tried this I actually didn't like it but after I kind of played around with it I feel like there are some certain tricks that you should do to get you the best application out of it So let's apply I'm gonna be using her little beauty sponge here We'll test this out as well But the best way to apply this is to do a pump on your hand and then slowly work from the middle of your face where you have the most product and then as there's less and less on your sponge blend it out towards the perimeter of your face really take your time working that into your skin and blending it out and that'll give you you know the most natural skin like application and avoid the cakiness so this first layer here is probably more of a medium coverage so I'll do another layer just on you know my blemishes where I need a little bit of extra coverage but I'm really liking the one full layer it's made my skin really even it's lightweight and this little beauty sponge is actually bomb it's a perfect kind of density you know it's really really soft like the beauty blender I find that that's the hardest part for companies to replicate is just like the softness of the beauty blender and Fenty Beauty definitely got it close this is going on really really nicely with their sponge so I'm liking it so the foundation is completely applied now from what I found with this foundation is I do like it it is that soft matte finish that I like so it still looks like my skin but keeps me matte the only thing is it's tricky like it does get patchy if you have acne or if you're very dry in some places it can cling to those spots so if you do have dry skin I probably wouldn't recommend this foundation for you like for me on the days where I am breaking out a lot or I have broken skin or dry patches I probably wouldn't reach for this foundation because it does kind of cling to them so for textured skin like I don't really like it but a lot of times that can even just be avoided with a more hydrating base and just really taking that extra time to pounce it into your skin and work slowly with the product rather than just slopping it all on your face you know it takes a little bit of finessing but overall I think it is a good foundation for normal to combination skin types we'll check back in on how it wears throughout the video and let me know what you guys think of this foundation have you tried it how do you make it work for you leave us some tips down below so moving on I've already filled in my brows a little bit I know they're scary right now we're still in the growing out process I will do a vlog on my brow transformation when the time comes but Fenty doesn't have any brow products or mascara or falsies so I think those are the only things we don't have for a full face the rest we've got we're gonna move on to eyes I have the Fenty Beauty pro filter amplifying eye primer base so we'll apply this all over my lids it has a really interesting little applicator it's like a little fat bell tip you know what I'm saying rounded out thick and super soft it applies the product really nice and this is one of those eyeshadow primers that are kind of liquidy so it just adds a really thin coat over your lids I like to blend it with my finger now this isn't gonna give you any extra coverage if you do like to cover up any discoloration or veins on your lids before you go in with eyeshadows it's applied it's kind of milky but it still has a stickiness to it so you know the shadow is gonna stick right on there and not budge and give you that long wear that you want out of an eye primer so I'm just setting that a 
little bit with some foundation powder to give me a little extra coverage so my discoloration's covered up there. So moving on to eyeshadow, we have all the palettes that Fendi has to offer. So she first came out with the Galaxy palette, which was supposed to be a limited edition holiday collection, but I believe it is still available to purchase. It has 14 gorgeous shades. They're all extremely shimmery and glittery. And I feel like that's a theme overall with all of the Fenty products. Like Rihanna loves her glitter. It's in everything. And the majority of the palettes are all shimmer shades. And then we have the Moroccan Spice palette. Gorgeous packaging on all these palettes, by the way. I'm literally obsessed. And this one has 16 shades in it, mixture of shimmers and mattes. But again, the majority is shimmer shadows. And then the Kilowatt Foil palette is the newest one that she's dropped. Again, gorgeous packaging, but it's meant to be highlights. But I would say you could definitely use these for eyeshadows too. They are so gorgeous and so pigmented, but we'll save that for highlight in a bit. I've tried everything except for that new highlight palette. And with the eyeshadow palettes, I do really like them. They are pigmented. They do have a lot of fallout though, especially since there's a lot of glitter in them. So you gotta be cautious with that. I am working with tape to kind of help control the fallout. And you'll notice we haven't gone in with concealer yet because it'll make it a lot easier to avoid all of that cleanup of any fallout that might happen. So definitely want to keep that in mind before working with these shadows, but they are gorgeous. Let's create a look. So in this video, we'll work with the Moroccan Spice palette. I think I already reviewed this in a video a while back when it first came out like last year. And this one has a good mix of mattes and shimmers so we can create a good look with that. I also did get a bunch of the Fenty brushes so we can test those out as well as we go along. We'll start with the 210 blending brush. So first let's go in with quicksand and we'll take that with their blending brush and apply that just above the crease kind of as that transition shade. I feel like this is the most obvious color choice for a transition shade in the palette. So I'll just keep building this above and into my crease. I really like this blending brush. It's super soft and it's kind of squished flat. Do you see that? So it fits really nicely in that groove of the crease of your eye. So now for the transition shade, I'm gonna mix two shades. We'll use Desert Baked and Sahara Stunna and we'll just pack that on and blend that into the crease. These are both shimmer shades, but they don't have much glitter in them. So you can kind of get away with them as a crease color. Let's play with a little bit of the color in the palette. We'll use the blue shade, which is called Evil Genie. And we'll focus that just on the outer corner, kind of close to my lower lash line. We're gonna create a smoky kind of blue wing here and blend it up and into the crease So now I'm ready to put a shimmer on my lid I do want to try one of the highlights in this new palette on my lid because they're so gorgeous And I definitely want to see how they apply as an eyeshadow We'll go in with the middle shade called stone cold and all of the palettes have really large practical mirrors It's amazing. So I love that packaging is so pretty if you apply these with a dry brush You're definitely gonna get a more sheer kind of base and a glitterier <laughs> a glitterier <laughs> Application welcome to my channel where we make up words, but I'm sure if I were to wet my brush, it would become a bit more intense, but I kind of just want a really nice sheer layer of glitter there. So stunning on the eye, holy. Looks like I just put diamonds on my lid. I think that's all we'll do for shadow for now. I am loving that palette. So now let's move on to eyeliner. I have the Fenty Beauty Fly Liner Long Wear Liquid Eyeliner. So let's go ahead and apply a little wing. It's super jet black, so I love that. The product is just flowing out, but it still has a really flexible tip, so it makes it really easy to follow the grooves of your eyelid. I do really like that liner. It's supposed to be waterproof and long wearing. The reviews say it's long wearing. So I think it's a good option. The only thing is it does have more of like a shiny black finish. So that's something to take note. If you do like a shiny black eyeliner, you'll like it. If you like something more matte, it's not for you. Now let's apply some mascara and lashes off camera since Fenty doesn't have any for us to try. Be right back. So lashes are on, love them. They complete the look. They're the Violet Voss, all the wispy ladies lashes. I think that's the name of them. I like the name. So for concealer, she has two options. You can either get the Matchstick Concealer, which I have tried before. It's not my favorite for concealer because it is very light coverage. So it's not my favorite to use the Matchstick as a concealer, but I love them as a cream contour and bronzer, so we will use them for that. But I do also have the Pro Filter Instant Retouch Concealer that I haven't tried yet. So let's go ahead and apply that. Oh geez, maybe I got a shade way too light for me. <laughs> Woo, that is very light. Now this is supposed to have the same kind of finish and formula as the foundation. So it's medium to full coverage, depending on how much you build it. It's supposed to be long wearing and crease proof. We will see about that. I'm gonna use their little concealer brush to blend it out. The nice thing about her brushes is they do actually say on them what they're meant for. So this one says concealer, foundation brush says foundation, etc., etc. So that's really great for beginners. I do like that. Honestly, the Fenty packaging is just unmatched. I love it. Even the brushes, look how sleek they are with the little, <laughs> the peach color. We love. So similar to KKW Beauty though. 
tea. You know, both of them have that like nude peach shade for all the product packaging. Interesting, interesting. Now this brush is really small to kind of like blend all this out. So I do wanna go back and use her beauty sponge because I really like that when we used it for the foundation and I think it'll do a good job with the concealer too. Oh yeah. Wow, we are really going for a brightened under eye today. Oh, the little sharp flat end there is perfect for this. I do like the formula of it. I feel like it covered up my dark circles and discoloration really, really well, but it does dry down fast and it's hard to work with when it dries down, especially if you have a dried foundation base already, it's difficult to blend into that. So I would definitely recommend doing the concealer and foundation together to avoid the dry, like patchiness, difficulty blending situation. So now let's move on to the matchstick, but because that foundation is already so dried down, I'm gonna spray my face really quick with this Chanel setting spray. And this is just gonna give me a little bit of that moisture back. So then when we go in with the cream product, it'll blend out nicely into that foundation and we won't have that same problem as the concealer, hopefully. So for cream contour, we're using the matchstick in mocha and I'm gonna just warm that up on my hand first. Definitely recommend that instead of going directly on, otherwise it can lift the foundation and it's just harder to blend out. Now let's go in with our foundation brush, take some of that product, go ahead and apply that into the hollows of my cheeks. And I like this brush a lot, but I way prefer it for a cream contour versus like my entire face of foundation. I prefer beauty sponge for that. But this is perfect for a cream contour. It fits right in the grooves of your cheeks. The bristles are so soft and you can see it's literally blending it out flawlessly. So I do really like these matchsticks, but again, when I first tried them out, like I was directly applying them, it was getting patchy, wasn't blending into the foundation. So it definitely took me a little bit to figure out the best little tricks and ways to finesse it for a perfect application. But once you got that down pat, like they're gorgeous. Let's do a little nose contour as well with that, but I'm gonna use their little concealer brush. It's literally perfect for this. So now let's go ahead and set the concealer before we start creasing. I have the Pro Filter Instant Retouch Setting Powder in the shade Butter. I have used this before, but in the shade Lavender, which is the shade Lighter, and it is very, very fair. Usually I'd apply that with a beauty blender, but we're gonna try their setting brush. It's so soft, y'all. Oh my God, I'm obsessed with these brushes. They're so cute too. So let's pack that on on top of our concealer. A little baking moment. And whatever's left over on my brush, I'll just dust that all over my face to set, especially my T-zone, because y'all know I'm an oily girl. This brush is so nice for setting. It's just so light and fluffy and the bristles are like gliding over my face so easily. I do really like the Fenty brushes, I will say. So moving on, we'll apply the powder bronzer in the shade Private Island. I have tried this bronzer before. I love the formula and they also have a bronzer brush, but it's a little bit small. I think I'm gonna use that for blush and instead go for that bigger setting powder for the bronzer since I don't want a heavy application. We've already gone with cream contour. We don't want it too harsh, too crazy. We just want a soft powder setting blending moment. I don't even know what I'm saying at this point, but you get it, you get it. Dust a little bit of that just on top of the cream contour. And the formula of this is great. It applies really subtly and you can kind of build it to be as pigmented or as intense as you want, which is what I prefer in a bronzer so it doesn't get muddy and it's easier to just blend. And this bronzer is so long wearing too. I feel like every time I wear it, it just doesn't budge. So I love that about it too. Moving on to blush, I'm gonna use the Kilowatt Ginger Binge in Moscow Mule for blush. It's meant to be a highlight, but Fenty doesn't really have anything else that we could use for blush. So I'm just gonna go in with the less shimmery side, use their bronzer brush and just do a really light application of that on the apples of my cheeks. Hopefully it gives us a little bit of a tinge that we can get away with as a blush. And I think we can, that's actually so pretty. Ugh. But the more you apply, the more shimmer <laughs> shows up. And I definitely don't want the texture on my cheeks to be that noticeable. Okay, okay. So you definitely can use it as a blush, but it does have a lot of shimmer in it. So if you have texture on your cheeks like me, you probably don't want to be doing that. Definitely showing off my pimples. Oops. At least we know now how it applies as a blush. It's a really pretty shade, but definitely would be too dark for me for a highlight and a little bit too shimmery for me as a blush. <laughs> Moving on to actual highlight. We'll go in with her new Kilowatt Foil Palette. Got some gorgeous highlight shades in there. And she has a very interestingly shaped little highlight brush. So it's meant to hug your cheekbones and you're supposed to be able to just apply your highlight with ease. I'm gonna mix these two shades. I don't really know what that's gonna give me, but we're about to find out. Ooh, this brush really does hug your cheekbones. There's so much glitter in it. So if you don't like glitter highlights, you probably won't like these. If you like to be seen from space with your highlight, then you'll be a fan of these ones for sure. Fenty Beauty actually has a lot of lip products to choose from. I got a little bit of everything. They have these metallic eye and lip crayons. And I just got this one set of three. I think it was the most neutral shades that they have. They're so pretty, very creamy, very metallic. I would probably just use these on my eyes. I don't really like a metallic lip, but that's just me. And then I also grabbed her Snow Days Frosted Metal Lipstick three piece set with the shades Cuffing Season, What's Your Number, and So Chill. And these are really creamy with a metallic finish as well, but they're way less metallic than those eye and lip crayons that we just talked about. So I don't mind them as much. These are really pretty shades. And then we got the Stunna Lip Paints, which is Rihanna's liquid lipstick formulas. So I got the set with the nudes in it. Came with these three shades right here. They are so pretty. And then she also 
also has the gloss bombs, which I have used a bunch of times and featured on my channel before, so we don't have that one here today. But today I think I'm gonna apply Uncuffed. And the applicators on these are so interesting. They're very, very unique. It's got like this little flat round tip. I kind of wish it was less round and had a little bit of a point. It'd make it easier to apply kind of without a lip liner, but I do really like it. It's so soft. And I like that it's small because you can be precise with it and work in sections. And it doesn't dry down too quick. It's actually a really nice, comfortable matte finish. So you can take your time working with it. It's not gonna get crusty or new or patchy. And I just really like the formula. It actually looks so pretty. I never tried the shade before. Loving it. Fenty Beauties snatching wigs and taking names. And I so I have the Body Lava in the shade Trophy White. I feel like I need the lighter shade, but this is the only one that they had available. The other one was sold out, so it's gonna have to do. And then I also have the little body brush that she recommends for it as well. Should I just like pump it on the brush? I guess, I don't know, it's not coming out. So I did a few pumps, now let's apply. All over my body. Ooh, 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 okay. The hype surrounding this is definitely real. Do you see how it just transformed my shoulder? Oh, how have I lived without this so long? Oh, it's so good. I don't know if it's gonna dry down, but right now it does have a little bit of a wet feeling, so I feel like it might transfer on clothes. I'm wearing white, ooh, I'm living life on the edge. Dangerous today. Basically, let's just apply that all over my bare skin. I'm definitely gonna use and abuse this this summer. Oh, so good, so good. It has like glitter chunks in it, so I'm sure when you're under the sun, you're just like shiny. Now on top, we have the Fairy Balm. I have used this before. It's got a giant poof, like almost too big, but it feels luxurious AF, and I just like love being a bougie girl like this, you know? Ooh, we'll apply some of this. So inside of this is a little sack filled with glitter, and you can see as you pounce it, more of that comes off. And I think with the body lava, it's honestly too much, because the body lava has a lot of glitter as well, but I do like it and I think it's a really cool kind of interesting product that no other brand really has done or that I've seen so I do like the fairy bomb but the body lava is definitely my favorite all right so that completes all of the Fenty products that we have to try out today and there was a lot of hits I am really happy with how the makeup look turned out I really like the colors that we used on my eyes and the lip color matches perfectly we have a nice really soft matte kind of overall look with my complexion which I like some of my favorites would definitely have to be her eyeshadow palettes I love those that new highlight palette is gorgeous even on the lids the fly liner is bomb and I really like her Stunna lip paints. Also her new bronzer, amazing. I really, really like it. That's all my thoughts on the Fenty Beauty stuff. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Let me know what brand you want to see me review next. And that's all for this one. I hope you guys liked it. If you did, don't forget to click right here to subscribe to my channel so you don't miss out on future videos. Click this button right here to shop my eyeshadow palette with BH Cosmetics and then click on these other videos if you haven't seen them yet. See you guys on my next one. Thank you so much for watching. Bye guys. Bye.